Hi guys, my name is Stephanie. Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, hi. I do a, um, a plethora of different kind of videos. Well, not really a plethora. I kind of, um, I do mostly wax home fragrance um, hauls and empties. And um, in the mix, I also do perfume and um, wine and whiskey, kind of like what I'm drinking for the day and kind of give you a description of uh, what they are. So um, today I have a friend, her name is Sandy. She is a Scentsy consultant. Hi Sandy. And she wanted to send me a, um, a piece of wax that she wanted my opinion on. It's not, apparently it's not a great smelling wax. <laughs> So she wanted my opinion on it, but I kind of have a feeling she threw a little extra in here, you guys. So this is the box, and um, I'm, I'm curious. Um, however, I, I um, decided I should probably have a little bit of sip of something. Oh, what did I grab? I have a whiskey. I forgot to grab the bottle. And I don't remember, I don't remember what bottle I grabbed. Um, cheers. Here's a, here's a smelling stinky wax apparently. Um, so you guys see this fluttering? This is part of our Pirates of the Caribbean inspired um, out there. That's what that is. Every now and then, out of the corner of my, I'm not used to it there, and so when I see it, it kind of like, ugh, kind of startles me for a second. Anyways, if you guys are really interested, uh, number one, what perfume am I wearing, and what kind of stinky wax did I get, among other things, keep on watching. <laughs> Um, I am wearing one of my all-time favorite perfumes. Well, I say that about every perfume because I have really worked hard at curating my favorite perfumes. So, this is my all-time favorite, again. Um, you guys have seen me talk about this a couple times already. This is uh, Caltat, Caltat, Caltat Night by Atar, the Atar Collection. Um, so, it's an Arabic word. It means love. This one is a sexy, she is a sexy beast. She is, this is not your pink pumps. These are your black heels with red bottoms. That's what this is. This is mm -mm sexy. So the Accords. So when I talk about the Accords of a perfume, it just means like the all around, like it's kind of like when you're talking about the Accords of wax, like this is a bakery. This is what, this is a forest. This is earthy. So the Accords of this one, I had to pull it up, is cinnamon, the main Accords, cinnamon, warm, spicy, cherry, sweet, vanilla, fruity, patchouli, musky, powdery, and nutty. So that's kind of um, the vibes you're gonna get in this in this perfume in this bottle. Um, and then, basically, um, <clears throat> I wonder if it's gonna show. So sometimes I'm looking on Fragrantica, and sometimes so it'll show the. Um, the accords and then sometimes it will also show the um, what the notes are from the um, the perfumer himself herself themselves um, and it doesn't um, it does however show kind of fragrant it so cinnamon cherry 
vanilla, patchouli, red apple, and white musk. So this is so pretty, so pretty. That cherry and that cinnamon, it is a warm, spicy. This is not, um, this is not bakery gourmand. This is just, um, oh, this is, with that musk, ooh, sexy perfume. It's too bad my husband's not home today because I got all dressed up for some videos and we got a live tonight and mm, all this and the perfume. But I love the perfume. This is a um, ooh, good one. So anyways, enough on that perfume. Are you guys ready for the box? I'm, I'm a little nervous. <laughs> I'm a little nervous. Okay. Um. <laughs> oh. <Aww. laughs> Sandy, you're so cute. <laughs> Hi, kitty, for my kitty. He likes dental treats. Kitty will, Kitty will love this. That's so cute. Oh my God. And then we have artisan inspired handcrafted biscuits. This is real chicken, um, barbecue chicken and sweet potato flavor. Hello, Thorin. Aw. Thorin, do you want a treat? Sandy, that was so cute. Thank you. Oh my gosh. He loves sweet potato. I put I put uh, pumpkin, canned pumpkin, and I chop up sweet potato, and um, that's part of what I put in his food. He is a spoiled dog. However, so side note parentheses. Let's talk about my dog. Um, so we used to just like it would take an all it would be an all day affair. Um, we would crock pot some chicken breast and then put some ground beef in there shredded shredded sweet potatoes rice and like 30 eggs but it would be it would take all day well I found online on YouTube a vet approved homemade meal and you guys it's literally like two hours and I'm done and it's healthier for him. Duh. I knew it would be because of all the stuff that's in there. Hi. Did you finish? Oh, you did. Oh, my goodness. You finished. Come here. Come here. You did. Oh, good job. Come here. Come here. I know it's slippy slidey up here. He's like, I need, I want up here. I don't know. Okay. Okay. There he is. You can say thank you. Oh, you can say thank you. Thank you. Okay. Good job. Um, anyway, so it is, I take ground turkey and I either do beef hearts or beef liver, whatever is available. It seems like every other couple weeks it switches off, which is fine because he likes both. And I put that in the um, Instapot, cook that, at, you know, add a little avocado oil so it doesn't stick to the bottom, add some water to keep the moisture in. And then I move that into trays. And then I cut up some sweet potato. I throw in some peas, green beans, spinach, and about three cups of rice. Instapot that. Divide that up into the trays as well. Then I add um, turmeric and some pepper. Tumor pepper helps the turmeric um, disperse in your body. There's, there's this chemical thing that happens um, in humans too. So if you want your turmeric to work for health reasons, have some pepper with it. Um, and then I take canned sweet potato and mix it all up. And you guys, he is just loving it, loving it. So he loves sweet potato. I, I, for his treats sometimes, um, Costco has the big sweet potato fries. <laughs> And I will just grab a handful of that frozen fries, frozen sweet potato fries, and he just loves it. Anyways, you guys, sorry. What happens when you're scared to open some wax? Um, okay, just a little note. 
Okay. Um, I'm happy. So this is um, the... Uh, okay, so I'm going to read this. Hi, Steph. I'm so happy I get to share some of my wax phase with you. I hope you enjoy um, and and something as much as I do. Everything else is just as amazing except the... I can't say what that is because I'm going to get away. Grandma's house to me anyways. LMAO. Feel free to pass on anything that may not bring you joy. Thanks for being you and bringing so much love and light into the world of all us waxies. Love and hugs, Sandy. Oh my God. <laughs> Thank you. I, um, you know, sometimes when you do this and it's hard not to compare yourself to other people and, um, and so to, to have someone truly just want to share something with you, just something fun and kind of like, Ooh, and maybe cringy. I'm a little nervous. Um, it's so fun. It's, it's just, um, cause I don't really have any wax friends here close by. Martha's my closest one. And one of these days, I think we should do a video together. Martha, I'm just saying we're that close. We could even meet at a cafe and sit in a corner and video that would be fun or I can come to your house I promise I'm not a I'm not a anyways um so it's just really nice that um that someone has taken the time out Sandy thank you so much I truly truly appreciate it um like I said sometimes I compare myself compare my videos to other people and my subscribers to other people's subscribers. And in the end, the reason why I started this is because I truly love scent. I love home fragrance. I love personal fragrance. Um, I love fragrance in my drinks. And just to find other people who share that same love is just so exciting for me. I truly, truly just love it and the friends that I've made and the connections I've made is beyond beyond thank you because I am a goofy goober and I am a true goofy goober and um yeah thank you it's just so nice so anyways okay let's get into this box oh she is a sensi consultant look at this <laughs> okay let's see here Oh, I have these two, Sandy. That's so awesome. Okay, let's see here. I'm trying to find the one. I'm trying to find the one. Okay, so this is from Scoopable Wax Melts. This is called Granny's House. Um, it's a woodsy scent with apples, ginger, and cinnamon. So she didn't send me a whole lot. It's just, just enough to smell it. Okay. I'm nervous. Okay. Uh-huh. Yeah, I I am picking up what you're throwing down and I will try and find a picture or a video and put it right here. Ah, okay. I, yes, I think what's throwing, why, you guys, every single time I'm like, hi. It's so close to the dang camera. Okay. Uh, so I think it's the ginger that's throwing this off. 
whoa, yes. The the and the woodsy scent. There's there's in this woodsy scent and the ginger. This combination is absolutely making it smell like raid. Absolutely. You are 100 percent correct. Woo! Holy moly. Oh my gosh. I you know what? I'm going to do is, so I'm, um, I, <laughs> I think I'm going to pass this around to my other wax friends and see if they, if they pick up on that too. I think that's what I'm going to do. That would be fun. Instead of the sister of the traveling pants, it's going to be sisterhood of the raid wax. Ugh. Okay. Totally. Yep. I totally get it. That's a no. That is a, a new. Okay. And I have a bunch of these little samples. Oh, I love samples. I love, love, love samples. Okay. Um, however, oh, she threw in some L3 Espresso Cuppy Cake White Elephant Exchange. So this is powdered donuts, vanilla wafers, white cake, vanilla frosting. I don't think, I don't think I have tried this before. Ooh, whoa, Sandy. First of all, first of all, a loaf, my dear. <laughs> Let's talk about the loaf. Second of all, oh, this is so freaking pretty. <sighs> you know what? Sunday. Well, I want to do it tomorrow. Okay, so it's fine. It's cloudy today, and I guess tomorrow is supposed to be cloudy and maybe a high of 70. And then it's supposed to be like sunny and 85 on Sunday. This to me is a cozy, cloudy day kind of wax. So this might get chopped up tomorrow morning and thrown in my warmers. That espresso is so pretty. Ugh. The espresso and the cuppy cakes. It is, it is, you have your cup of espresso and a box of donuts. Oh, I want a donut so bad. Thank you. This is, this is, I was excited just for the raid. <laughs> I was excited just to try that. Um, so the fact that you threw this in here and a bunch of little samples, girl, that's just awesome. Okay. Let me close this up. And I have like a plethora of little samples here and I, I love it. Okay. So L3 this is Benny and June. So French baguettes, honey butter, and blackberry marmalade. Oh, someone was just talking about this. Who was just talking about this? I think in my little enablers wax group, we were just talking about this, weren't we? Ladies? Oh, I, I really, I'm really liking blackberry right now. Okay, that honey butter as well, I'm, ooh, this is nice. I'm not picking up on the French baguette at the moment. It's a small bag, and um, that blackberry marmalade is like top on the list. That's what I'm picking up first and foremost. And then I'm picking up like some honey, like some sticky honeyness. And I'm sure I'm warm. This French baguette's going to come out. Um, this makes me so happy because like all of these little sample things I can take upstairs with me in my bedroom. And at night, I love throwing one of these in next the, into the warmer right next to my bed so that I can just really um, take the time and smell it. And how long does it? 
how long do I smell it for? How strong is it? So, um, ooh, that's fun. L3, Benny, and June. Next is Little Blue Coop. This is called Christmas Wish. I have never heard of Little Blue Coop. It's another vendor I'm going to have to look up and put on my list for next year. I'm trying to be good, you guys. I think my next... I'm not going to buy any more wax. I have, um, I have my Salt Mountain Mystery that's going, um, I'm doing a live tonight. Um, and then I have a D stash here and then I have like so many orders, pre-orders out right now that when those come in, like I'm going to have to be a melting queen the next few weeks to get some of this out. I, I really am. It's kind of, <laughs> it's, it's a lot. So I'm trying and, hmm. I'm also in the process of paying off debt and my car because I want a bigger, I have a Ford Explorer. We got it new in 2014. It's not new. <laughs> it's not new no more. It is, um, she's, she's tired and mama wants a bigger SUV. Mike says I'm crazy. But in order for me to get one, I got to be really good and I got to pay stuff off and down, which isn't hard. I got to stop buying wax light. Tomorrow's not happening. So my next pre-order won't be until I'm going to do Knowles Farm Sugs on the 6th. And then I'm going to try and be really good and not make, I mean, I do a lot for my wax. I do put funds in my wax account. However, I kind of went a little cuckoo, kind of, kind of like said eh, to that budget. It's time for me to get back to that budget. And if I can't pay for it with what I have in my fund, I either knock it off my, you know, cut down my list or I don't get it. I have knolls I want to do. I have second and spruce that's going to be coming up again. Um, I have there probably sassy girls is going to come up again and I'm going to want, I love sassy girls. Um, salt mountain melt. Like I really, I really want to just be good. So yeah, I do have a list of stuff I want to try for next year, but this year, like I'm really limiting myself to what else I'm purchase purchasing. So, uh, yeah, we're going to see a bunch of hauls once these pre-sales come in. But after that, it's going to take a little woosa and I'm going to try and um, get creative with other videos. So anyways, little blue coop, long story, long story, sorry. Um, Christmas wish. Okay, so I feel like I'm picking up maybe a little, I don't know what the set notes are on this. Some mint. I wonder. Let's see. Little blue coop. Soaps. Handmade soaps. Etsy store. Soap and wax melts. Okay. Shopper Etsy store. Let's see if I can find Christmas Wish and what's in here. Christmas Wish. Well, I spelt it right. Wax melt. Okay, so I feel like I'm picking up, where'd you go? Um, I feel like I'm picking up a little bit of mint a little bit of lavender and vanilla. This is definitely a, a soft, a soft, um, this actually isn't bad, you guys. You know how I feel about lavender and mint. So I, I feel like this is a really soft, sweet lavender. 
and a soft mint with some vanilla. That's what I'm getting. I could be totally wrong. I love doing stuff like this. I love trying to figure out what's in, in the notes. I will try and find out what's in here. And um, yeah, if anyone knows Little Blue Coop, Christmas Wish, if you know um, what the notes are, message me down below, please. Please and thank you. TPD Estito. What is TPD? Let's find out, shall we? One, two, okay. TPD Wax. Nope. Okay, I don't know what it is, but this is called Estido. Estido. And open up the bag here. Okay, this is Woody. Is this Woody or clean? Am I picking up some cleanness? Okay, now that it's out of the bag, I feel like I'm picking up some clean. Like this feels laundry to me. Okay, that feels laundry. And I'm not a huge fan of laundry. So um, I know who I'm gonna pass that on to. I know who does like laundry. Um, Rose Girl Raspberry Sauce. I know Rose Girls. Ooh, that's, wow, that's raspberry, whoa. So it is like raspberry sauce. I feel like it's the, um, like when you're getting a sundae or a, um, like the ice cream and they can put the, the stuff on top. That's, they put the, like the raspberries with the raspberry sauce. That's the vibe I'm getting with this one. Ooh, really nice. That is refreshing. That's really bright and refreshing. I like that a lot. Another TPD. This is fresh haircut. So shave and a haircut, steel sugar, amber, and fresh cut wood. So shave and a haircut kind of scares me. Like it's giving me shampoo vibes. Oh, what shampoo is that? Am I? Hold on. Steel sugar, amber, fresh cut wood. The problem is with shaving a haircut. Like that's kind of all I smell. I do like blue sugar. I like amber. And I like fresh cut wood. I don't know. For some reason when I think of someone chopping wood. I just think of Captain America. And then I put my husband in his place. This is, this is um, very much like shaving cream. Fresh um, shampoo. Like men's shampoo. That's what that is. Um, also, not my favorite. I know who's going to like that one. L3 Cider Lane Pumpkin Pecan Waffles. Ooh. I'm excited for that. I love pumpkin pecan waffles for sure. Ooh, that's good. Okay. And I like the Cider Lane. I like this one a lot. Cider Lane scares me because sometimes it can be too um, too green or sour apple for me. So, and I don't know what, you know, obviously Cider Lane's different oils. But 
sometimes cider lanes can be just a no for me. But I really like this, and I really, really like this with the pumpkin pecan waffles. That pumpkin pecan waffles is keeping that cider lane in check. Oh, I and that you guys, L3 is just an amazing vendor. They do just their scents do really, really well in my home. Oh, this is good. Like I am picking up that that waffle, just that that doughy pumpkin pecan. Ooh, this is good. Oh man. What am I going to melt tonight in the house? Um, Destination Wax. This is Moon Spice Cookie. I don't know if I tried Destination Wax. I may have in a small... Um, this is Sugar Cookies, Coffee, and Celtic Moon Spice. I recently found out, I think, was it... I think it was Pharmacist Daughter that there is a scent that had Celtic Moon Spice in it. And I was over the frickin' moon with Celtic Moon Spice. So, um, I need more Celtic Moon Spice in my life. Oh my word, oh my word, oh my word. This is, oh man, oh goodness gracious, this is stunning. That, um, that coffee is perfect. The sugar cookies, yes. It just, it's adding to the sweetness. And then this, the Celtic Moon Spice. Is like, it's like, um, it's like you have this, so at Disney, or even now at, so Disneyland, Downtown Disney has their um, Black Tap Brewery, but, the, but they have Crazy Shakes. And then also at um, Universal and their City Walk is Tucson's Chocolate Emporium, and they also have Crazy Shakes. For some reason, in my head, like I'm thinking a, like coffee ice cream, and they've put this cookie, this giant sugar cookie, like thick, giant, chewy sugar cookie on top with some whipped cream and you're sprinkling and you sprinkled it with like cinnamon and clove and spice. That's the vibe I get with this and now I want one. I don't know if they have one, but like that's what, that's the picture that got into my head when I smelt this. Ooh, Sandy, this is yummy. Uh, that's definitely going to be on a list of what I'm going to look out for. Um, and when I start purchasing like crazy. Okay. So next is Sassy Girl Aroma. One of my other favorite vendors. This is Jingleberry Wreath. So fresh, fresh green forest drenched in fresh berries. what like I'm picking up more of the berries on this and I think <sighs> okay there I, I do smell the tree but I also am picking up the berries they are um, they're neck and neck I, I feel like, I don't feel like one is overtaking the other. And it's nice because it's not, so it, it is forest. It's not like fresh pine or fir or cedar. It's not a specific tree that I'm getting. It is, it's, it's forest. Oh, that's cool. It's forest. I like it. Forest and berries. 
I am I am loving the forest notes lately um, with bakery and berry. I I don't want it all by itself. So like the tree, the like Sensi had some tree ones that I got in um, in some bundles. Those are definitely getting blended with some bakery for sure. Rose girls, lemon clothes, lemon clothes on the line. So maybe some lavender and lemon. Maybe some laundry. Ooh, that is, whoa, that's lemon. Oh. Okay, so now that I've opened up the package and that lemon has has made its way out the front door. I am picking up like a laundry. It's, it's like a, um, maybe some ginger. Cause it's got this effervescence vibe to it. I don't know, um, but that's a, that is a, this is like one that I would put in my house after, after Christmas is done and the first day of spring, like it's been raining and finally the sun's starting to come out and I can open up my windows and my doors and do some cleaning. Um, this is one that I feel would go really, really well. Um, on a nice spring spring cleaning day that is ooh, that is lemony and I, I kind of like it rose girls almond biscotti and monster cookies I love almonds almond biscotti and rose girls also oh man that almond Ooh, that's another one I like to put in my coffee, the almond syrup. I love almond syrup in my coffee. I love almond, almond croissant. Mm. Oh, I could just sit here. You know what? Forget it. I'm just going to sit here for the next 20 minutes. And Oh my gosh, that's so good. I love almonds. Next one is K, so this is Memories Pass. This is orange almond scone, cranberry orange, and Fraser fir. You guys, I am loving cranberry orange and fir lately. Um, it is it is so Christmassy for me, and um, I I don't want to say a scent memory because I it's not like this is a specific memory. But something about this just is so traditional Christmas. It is just, it's so pretty. Okay, yes, that, that, wow, that's nice. Orange almond scone. It's, okay, wow. You guys, wow. This is so I do pick up a scone note, like an almond scone. And there's like orange, the really small, like just like um I don't want to say the dried orange, like in a, um, like in a, um, fruit cake, but that cram and then cranberry orange, it's almost like you took the almond scone and there's like little bits of the dried orange in there, like the dried candied orange. And then you just put a little, um, smithering of smithering. <laughs> Slytherin um, of the of the cranberry orange like a cranberry orange marmalade or butter um, or a spread to put on top of that and you're sitting next to a Christmas tree 
Like you're in this bed and breakfast. Like a Hallmark bed and breakfast, right? And they're ha it's decorated inside and you've got just fresh fir, fresh pine, fresh trees all throughout inside this bread, bed, bed and breakfast. And you're at the breakfast table, you're at your little table and you have this warm scone with an orange and cranberry spread. Oh, raise your hand if you want to be there. <laughs> I do. Okay. Did that one? That one. Okay. Um, this is also Little Blue Coop. This is called Pumpkin Bread. I love pumpkin bread. For the past week, I've been saying I was going to make pumpkin bread, but I've gotten so freaking busy. Oh, it's in the shape of a waffle. Mm. This is nice. I'm not, it's not pumpkin bread to me. It's more a pumpkin spice. It is, it's pumpkin-y, and I am picking up some, um, I, that cinnamon is the spice that I'm picking up. There's a creaminess to this one as well. This is really pretty. I don't mind spice. I love spice. I love pumpkin spice. I don't mind cinnamon and clove and allspice. I, I actually add a little bit extra into my pumpkin bread um, just because it makes it a little more, um, you know what, you know what that is? This is really pretty though. It, I would not say pumpkin bread, um, but I would say pumpkin spice and I love it either way. All right. I have Rose Girls Serendipity. Is that, I don't know what the scent notes are in this and I'm, I don't know if Rose Girls has a, um, I don't know if Rose Girls has a master, a master scent list on their website. Let's find out. I feel like. So serendipity, serendipity, French vanilla, coconut milk. It's so strong and beautiful. Yeah, I really, really like this. Um, I, I like coconut, but I need it to be strong coconut. Like this one, I, I was hoping that the um, pina colada cha-cha would be would be stronger on the coconut um pina colada cha cha to me smelt like day old pina colada that's been sitting out like just the 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 freshness and that brightness has just gone away it just felt really stale and it wasn't sweet enough it was not a pina colada y'all pina colada is sweet it's rum it is coconut um this is good. I definitely, I think, um, I'm going to keep an eye out for this, the, the serendipity. I, I'm going to keep an eye out for this one because I really, really like this. Um, and I was really disappointed in some of the coconut scents that, um, that Scentsy came out with. And... I'm a Scentsy consultant, and I'm going to tell you that if you want a really good pina colada scent, that pina colada cha-cha was not it. Um, okay, this is Rose Girl Lemonade. Does she have it in here? No, I don't see lemonade. I see lavender, 
leaves. Let's get ready to tumble and lemoncello sugar cookie dough. This is, ooh, this is also, also an, oh, it's lemony, woo. That is strong, wow. This is like, I, this is what I would imagine you smelt like if you worked on hot, worked at hot dog on a stick. This is what you're, this is what you're going to come home smelling like. That is lemonade. It is lemony. Next one is L3. This is Griswold Family Christmas. So carrot cake, love carrot cake, oatmeal cookies. Yes. And butterscotch icing. <laughs> yeah. Please, all those words. Oh, wow. Y'all, carrot cake is probably, I love carrot cake. And that icing, I need it cream cheese icing and I need it thick. Ooh, this is good. And a good oatmeal cookie. That sounds really good too. Oh my goodness, you guys, this is really freaking good. This is, this is a good bakery. I am picking up, you, I do pick up that carrot cake and a little bit of the spice from the carrot cake. That oatmeal cookie I'm picking up on oats. Just a little bit, nothing crazy. And then some sweet frosting. Oh my gosh, yes. I am hmm, so excited for that. Okay, Rose Girls Strawberry Cupcakes at Strawberry Cupcakes at Tiffany's. Ooh, this is nice. This is a good strawberry. I mean, I don't mean to sound like shocked. Like, oh, I, I don't mean it. Like, this is like fresh strawberries. Like muddled strawberries. And I feel like I'm getting, it's almost like strawberry shortcake. Like you have fresh shortcake or pound cake. whipped cream and fresh strawberries on top. Ooh, that's pretty. Like that one too. Okay, uh, I got a few more. When I mean few, I mean five. Um, L3, this is Snuggle, t Snuggle Tan Lines and Flip Flops. Something I have never tried before. Um, copper Tone Type. Hawaiian Tropic type and Tropical Elements type. So I have heard people talk about this, but I have been scared. So here we go. <laughs> it smells like, like, um, that's so funny. I just got so the girl who does who I get waxed. That's what her um this is what her little place smells like. <laughs> so she does waxing and she also does spray tanning. I love her. Um that's what, when I walk in to her um, place of business, that's what I smell. That's so funny. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I, I, I don't know about this one. Um, probably a no. Um, <laughs> but, yeah. 
Uh, Little Blue Coop. This is White Christmas, Evergreen, Pine, and Floral. A little nervous about that. Not a huge floral person. Ooh, that is piney. That is, wow. Um, oh, what would I, hold on. I have an idea. <coughs> I'm going to take Little Blue Coop pumpkin bread and Little Blue Coop white Christmas. Because I do like this pine, this evergreen and pine. Um, I'm not picking up a whole lot of floral. That's not to say when I warm it, it's not going to come out on warm. I'm not a huge fan of florals. I feel like I'm getting a little bit, but I don't know what it would. I don't know what it is. Maybe rose. I don't know. But with this pumpkin and the spice in it. Oh, I could totally do that. Okay, that's that's a blend that's going to happen. Yes. Um, Destination Wax. This is Quickie Wedding. Refresh, um, fresh strawberries, strawberry seeds, and marshmallow fluff. So you guys, I hope my husband doesn't watch this. So, uh, it was the day after our wedding the day after our wedding. And we went to Marie Callender's um, before our flight left. We went to Marie Callender's for um, breakfast. And the I, I laugh, Mike and I laugh about this all the time. Um, so the lady, um, I gave my order. And then the lady asked Mike what he wanted and he, he said a quickie with a side of bacon. <laughs> he meant quiche. <laughs> so now every time we talk about, now every time I say, you, shall we pick up some quickie? Shall we pick up some quiche? But it's just so funny. I can never look at quiche, the word quiche, and not laugh and think of quickie. So, I don't know, quickie wedding just made me think of that. It was a lot. It's so fun. <laughs> Poor girl was just like, uh, <laughs> no. Oh my God. I love that man. Oh yeah. Whoa. Oh, this is so pretty. I, that marshmallow fluff. It's almost like. I don't know if it's a thing. I can't remember the last time I, I picked up a jar of marshmallow fluff. I used to have peanut butter and marshmallow fluff sandwiches. If you guys have not tried it, I I don't, I suggest you do. It's, you should just try it. But I feel like if marshmallow fluff were to have a strawberry flavor, this would be it. But this is a bright strawberry. This is fresh strawberries. You decided to make your own dang marshmallow strawberry fluff. You said screw it. They're not going to do it. I'm, I'm doing it. Oh, that's good. That's a lot of fun. Um, Anya. Quick list with Curly Q. Um, fresh strawberries and marshmallow fluff. Next one, Destination Wax. This is Wine Cellar. Ooh. Pomegranate, black cherries, pink pepper, saffron, patchouli, slightly sweeter than Bath and Body. So I don't know if I've smelt wine cellar from Bath and Body Works. Um, I do work at a winery and we don't necessarily have a wine cellar, but um, the family that owns the winery has the, the where they crush and the wine barrels, like all of that is on site. 
So I do smell it. I smell it when it's freshly crushed. I smell it when it's been fermenting and I smell it when, um, I, all year round, I get all the different scents. So, um, this is, this is intriguing. That's nice. I wouldn't say wine cellar, but this is a nice, um, this is a really nice adult, I don't want to say serious. This is a really nice adult scent. Like, Not that any of these are not. Uh, how do I put this without... This is nice. Um, I like this. I might actually pick up more of this. This is one where it, it's got that earthiness from the patchouli. Um, you've got your sweetness from your fruits and it's just, um, but it's not overly done. So, um, I've said it before on certain fragrances that I feel like sometimes if you're having company over, depending on, um, the type of company, depending on why they're coming over, is it, are they coming over for a full on party or are they coming on, or coming over for like a sit down dinner and you've created this really nice table piece and tablescape and you, you know what I mean? So uh, adult versus party. Um, this would be what I would melt throughout my house um, if I were having a sit down dinner with some guests. And your house is just going to smell stunning. Stunning. So I'm definitely going to pick up more of that though. Because I'm going to melt that whenever. Next one is L3. This is Holiday Holiday Woods. This is the last one. Ooh, that is mint. Minty and woods. And this one, if I'm going to do it, I'm going to blend this. I'm going to blend this with a, with a bakery, like a full on bakery. Because I do enjoy mint and forest and woods and trees. I do enjoy that, but I like it with bakery because I, I like it to be there. But as I like to say a lot in the back seat or even in the trunk, I like it to be there, but I don't want it. I, I don't need it to, um, to announce that it's there. Ooh, that is, that is, wow. Pines and all, and all the things. So, okay, you guys, that was it. That was my super fun friend mail, um, slash, test this stinky wax out and let me know if I'm a crazy person from Sandy. Um, I will link her, um, her Instagram. I don't, I don't think she does videos. Now, now that I think about it, I will look. How do I not know that? You guys, that's the other thing. If you have subscribed to me, and you have a channel, a vid a channel, and you do videos, will you please let me know so that I can go and support you? Because sometimes I don't know when people follow me, and I don't know if you have a YouTube channel. Like, I'm all for supporting you back and watching and, and commenting and really just, we're here to help each other out. So I'm all here for that. Um, anyways, Sandy. You went above and beyond with this super fun friend mail sample box. Love it. Absolutely love it. Um, and I did enjoy testing the stinky wax and I would 100% agree. 
it smells like Raid. And no, I'm not melting it, but I will pass it on for someone else to smell and enjoy. So <laughs> there's that. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, please give a like and subscribe. I hope you guys are having a really great day. And um, I'm going to follow um, Bailey Sarian's um, quote at the end and go make good choices. Bye.